Okay, journey to Crunchy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Good morning. This is the morning of uh, the International Women's Day. As you can hear, I'm having a bit of a rough voice right now. Um, I'm going on an adventure, starting from the place of all the Xiaolangs, Yishun. So I'm uh, heading down towards Kranji, another Xiaolang thing to do. Uh, so I'm going to do my warm-ups now, then I'm bringing you guys on an adventure. So if you guys want to follow me on all my adventures, to explore new areas, new routes and new running locations, do remember to subscribe, right? One more thing, Yishun is not just a place of all the Xiao Langs. It's also a place where, so so far, as of now, not a single case of coronavirus. Check it out. <laughs> so we are really the Xiao Langs. So Xiao that even the virus don't even dare to come. Hopefully it stays that way, right? Check this out. Camera and Marty. Some power and Marty station. We're now entering the Admiralty Park Connector. Check it out. Alright guys, we have been going through from Yishun Park Connector all the way down to the Admiralty Park Connector. So far so good. This tra trail that I'm going on is probably 50% of uh, PCN. I'm now on Sabawang Way. Um, heading towards Woodland direction. Now I'm along the roadside. Already got off the PCN already. Check it out, I'm back into Woodlands Park Connector again, Avenue 7. You know, one thing I don't understand about the look, Singapore PCN is that see this running track, it's near towards the road, whereas the bike, bike track is on the inside. The part that I don't understand is Runners are slow, so running on the outside track, you'll be taking a lot of carbon dioxide, isn't it? The bikers in there, they're not. Shouldn't they be outside here, right? And also another point is to create a separate track okay, so that you can slow the bikes, bikers down and prevent any accidents. But going straight on for them is worse. Now, we're at this <coughs> Admiralty MRT station. <coughs> okay, guys, now I'm at Woodlands, near the Woodlands MRT station. Uh, you can see Causeway Point over there. Wait, right. let's carry on. The 
thing about doing an LSD is that you really have to practice your hydration at the same time. It is more than one hour. So for me, every hour, one nutrition break. One thing about LSD is that although it's not the uh, intensive, although it's not the intensive song song type, but the long distance also will cause a lot of perspiration. So you need to hydrate a lot, right? Be responsible. Singapore Turf Club Riding Centre. Singapore Turf Club. This is the actual Turf Club. So people come and throw money into the horses. We're here at the country MRT station. And here is the place where you take the bus to Malaysia. So, Juhu, anybody? <laughs> 10 kilometers mark. Kranji. Not bad. About 5 more K to go. Alright guys. <clears throat> Now I am inside one of the industrial park uh, which I usually come and stop by when I cycle. So see for breaks, coffee breaks. And a lot of cyclists like to do that also. It's been quite a while since I last came to Crunchy area. A lot has changed. Almost couldn't recognize the route. But luckily, I get to see this at this point here. Wait, guys, here we are at this Crunchy Reservoir. This is one of the famous fishing grounds uh, in Singapore, actually. And you can see a lot of fishermen here. Um, right now, you can't really see, they are right below. Okay, this is the point where it's get, it gets challenging to run across this um, dam or what do you call it, a bridge across the Kranji Reservoir because there's no runner's path. Okay, so, so we've got to be very careful running on this stretch of the road because the path here is actually quite thin, quite narrow. Okay, check it out. This used to be my favourite cycling route and it still is whenever I do round island usually before sunrise I would have cleared this really and I would have touched uh, twice by sunrise so, Guys, we've cleared the Kranji Reservoir Dam Not easy because there's a lot of debris there and nobody seems to clear it A lot of rubbish Finally here! Somewhere below wetland reserve
Yo, what's up guys? We're finally here at the Sungai Belo Wetland Reserve. Check this out. The run is actually about 14 kilometers, slightly one kilometer short. Probably I plotted the other entrance instead of this entrance. So this is the side entrance which you can literally cut short by one kilometers. Or maybe I plotted all the way inside. Alright guys, basically this wet um, Sungai Belo Wetland Reserve is set in 202 hectares of mangroves, mud flats, ponds, and secondary forests. And it's also a rare oasis for natural wonders and tranquility. It's a home for unique plants and animals, as well as wintering ground for migratory birds. Sungai Bolo Wetland is also a uh, living classroom. Uh, how would I say that? Because it is rich in mangroves that were once used as a spawning location and nursery for by prawns and fish farmers and since January 2002 Sungai Bolo was actually protected as a na nature reserve in recognition of the rich biodiversity Grab a brochure they will actually show you all the things that you should you can look out for things like damselfly, common tree frog or ornamental tree trunk spiders, you, Saint An Andrew's cross spiders. Um, if you're lucky, you can see the crocodile as well. Um, maybe a bit of a tiger beetle, mud skipper, um, the smooth, smooth otter, or even the mangrove pit viper and cicada. Very nice bridge. Very nice to walk. It's like those um, drawstring bridge. This is definitely worth the run to this place because I get to experience nature. Although not its most natural form, but it's close enough, especially in a place like Singapore. Alright guys, that's it for my run from Yishun to Sungai Bolo and it's a, it's a very interesting in journey from home to this place here and it's definitely worth a run because uh, a lot of things to see, a lot of things to experience especially around here so if you would like to see more of my adventures, running adventures like this do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one, bye!